I started in February 2013 and I had one case, one child. He was 10 and he's 15 now and I'm still his cusser and I think I'm the adult that he's known longest in his life. I was excited when my supervisor said, oh, I've got exactly the right case for you. And then when she told me the story, I was immediately terrified because it seemed this kid had been through so much and I didn't know if I could handle it, if I could be everything that I was required. Um, but actually, reading the case, reading about the story, isn't the same as meeting the child. And from the moment I met him, he looked up at me and he said, oh, you look like me. And we bonded immediately. I know that I'm important to him. I know that if there's anything going wrong in his life, I'm the first person he will call. Also, I was looking for some way to contribute to the community because I feel very strongly that we have to make more connections, that we have to look after the people that get left behind. I think this work is vital because for those kids who have suffered neglect, who have suffered um, abuse, or who have just not received adequate parenting, um, who aren't doing well at school, who aren't doing well at home, they're not going anywhere. They're going to become citizens of our future, not just their own futures. We're all in it together. So unless we step up and make sure that those connections and those feelings of community exist for them, we all suffer. It's not just the child that is abandoned, but it's also some important connection that we have to each other that gets fractured. Being a CASA, you're not there to be the social worker or the teacher or even the parent. You're there to just provide that one relationship where they can rely on you to respond whatever their need is at the time. The amount of need that Voices for Children is serving is very hard to measure in financial terms. Um, the intangible things that spending that money covers include feelings, include social benefit, include careers. I've employed people that have had CASAs and they've been some of my best employees. And I know that if they hadn't had Voices for Children, they would have had very different lives, very different outcomes, and the rest of us would be suffering <laughs> as a result. So we're benefiting everybody with all of those um, donations. Thank you.